How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Will Soldier Field open up in the fall, and will we see a full 16-game NFL season? We're no health experts, but we're going to be answering these questions and many more today in episode number 42 of Uncut. Welcome back to the show, guys. I would like to say almost at 1.6K subs. Thank you for the support recently. I am your host, Chris Malpe. Today, I am joined at 2.43 a.m. on Sunday morning uh, with my co-host, Jalen McClinton. We've taken two days off. Uh, we've got some very special interviews planned for next week. If you want to find out who's coming on the show, go follow us on social media. Uh, once again, I'm joined with my co-host, Jalen McClinton. Jalen, how's it going, buddy? It's doing good. Doing good. Uh, we've been recording a couple days, so it feels good to be back. Absolutely, and today we are going to be talking about probably the most anticipated thing in the world right now, outside of some uh, current world events. Uh, obviously, I hope I hope everyone is staying safe uh, amidst everything going on, but obviously, you know, uh, things are getting better in regards to this coronavirus, and there's a lot to break down as far as revisit, uh, revitalization uh, in regards to Soldier Field and restoring Illinois and restoring the country in general, so let's get right into it. Obviously... First and foremost, we have to bring up that the VP of Football Operations, Troy Vincent, said last week that he plans and the NFL plans on opening stadiums uh, in the fall unless health officials tell them differently. Uh, And I'm no coronavirus expert, but I know that there's a second wave that eventually is going to roll around. But a players union president being that confident is normally a good thing. Soldier Field's capacity is 61,500. Let me give you guys a little bit of an update at where Illinois is at currently right now as a state. So on May 29th, a couple of days ago, uh, Illinois did open up to Phase 3, which is recovery. This meant manufacturing, offices, retails, barbershops, and salons reopened, and face coverings and social distances. Social distancing are still the norm. Gatherings of 10 to 15 people or fewer allowed. So uh, an interesting one there. Um, I finally got a haircut. But uh, Jalen, I want to ask you, I mean, obviously, uh, the next stage is Phase 4 and 5 in Illinois. I think Phase 4 is set for around July. And as of right now, actually, Stage 5, which is fully restored, which means conventions, festivals, and large events are permitted, is actually like August slash September. I mean, obviously, it's a long shot, and you want to keep people safe at the end of the day. But what do you think? Do you think there's any chance that the Bears do play at Soldier Field here in 2020? Hopefully, uh, if we do, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, like, um, at a certain capacity. So, I'm going to say, like, around 25%. That, but that means that the tickets are definitely going to be expensive. But if it's – I'd rather have, fan, like, you know, less fans than no fans at all. Because fans mean a lot. And, and certainly for, like, home field advantage, you know, especially at Soldier Field where it's a lot of history. Um, you know, Bears fans are excited to see their, their team play. And so, uh, when – when we have, you know, like like I said, 25% capacity uh, against the offense that's, you know, struggling, especially when we have momentum, that could definitely help. So hopefully, you know, I, I doubt it's going to be at, you know, maximum capacity. But, you know, at least one-fourth is going to help, definitely. Yeah, I mean, we obviously have to see how Illinois continues to recover. But I'm going to be confident here and say yes. Uh, and it's just an optimist as a football fan in general. I really hope – that stadiums, all 32 stadiums around the country, are able to house some sort of fans. Uh, I talked to J.J. Stankovitz of NBC Sports recently, and, you know, he told me that he sees that it's going to be hard for fans to get in. But that being said, uh, hopefully this this whole COVID thing gets a lot better in the summer. Um, And hopefully, at least at some capacity, there will be fans and we will be able to play games in Soldier Field. Jalen, my next question for you. Obviously, you know, as far as post-pandemic goes, uh, you know, the United States is trying to, to find a vaccine, uh, make it effective and have widely available treatment and overall just eliminate this uh, and, and make cases sustainable uh, and, and basically herd immunity towards this uh, at the end of the day. So obviously, you know, there's a wave two that may or may not be coming. Uh, obviously, if a vaccine is created, that would make uh, just the healing process in general a lot easier in regards to this uh, this virus, but do you see the NFL playing out a full 16-game season? Obviously, if you look at where it's projected to fall right now, and this is just very borderline projections, you know, that wave two is, is suspected to come around October, November, December, but 
That being said, you know, obviously the NFL could push back the season if they needed to, but do you think they get a full 16 season, uh, 16 game season in regardless of location? Yeah, it'd be, uh, I definitely feel like even, even if we, if we have a second wave right now, even if, even though a lot of, you know, states and uh, countries are opening back up, um, you know, people, I feel like people have totally forgot about the coronavirus, especially with the stuff that's going on right now. I don't want to get into that because this is a Bears channel, but I feel like people totally forgot about the coronavirus. Um, I don't know if, like, I'm pretty sure people are going to still catch the coronavirus because of the large crowds that they're having. Um, but with p- pertaining to football, um, yeah, because especially since uh, that – they, they feel like we're going to be in the stadiums. So if if we have football, I definitely feel like it's going to be a full 16 games. Yeah, I mean, if you look at when the projection is for Bears training camp to start up, uh, it's looking like it's going to be between June 15th and July 27th. Obviously, you know, that's, that's a pretty bold date range. But that being said, training camp is looking to get started up. Obviously, you know, there's probably going to be no fans or media at that, which is unfortunate because, you know, the yeah. Bears obviously – Switched uh, training camp over to Hallis Hall recently, which it would have been so cool to go there. You know, I haven't been there since I was a little kid. I actually got the opportunity to go. Obviously, Bourbonnet is great, but uh, if training camp can start this summer, I'm pretty optimistic that a 16-game season will happen. Jalen, finally, to meld these two questions, you know, obviously, Phase 5, Illinois Restored, is projected to be in August or September. We don't know what's going to happen with Wave 2 of all of this. Um, We're speaking very prematurely on this topic. But that being said, obviously, uh, we both said that we think 16 games will get played somewhere. You know, if you look at some other sports leagues right now, you know, the the NBA is returning July 15th in Orlando and possibly Las Vegas. Uh, The MLB is looking to return at all the home stadiums without fans. And uh, the NHL is looking to make two hub cities. And Chicago is one of the possibilities of those hub cities. I I saw Chicago and Toronto most recently. Uh, and they're going to have a 2014 playoff between all of the hockey teams that are the top 24. Uh, Blackhawks barely eking it out, so I'll be rooting for them, obviously. But Phase 5, Illinois restored. Uh, obviously, you know, the economy at the end of the day is important. The NFL is a business. They do need to make money and sell tickets. And obviously, you know, with the new CBA that the TV brand deals are going to be great. And uh, I also think, I mean, I don't think it's going to be a consideration, but it would be interesting as far as making more money goes. Uh, if they had some sort of pay-per-view uh, for some special events or games uh, just to, to hurt some more money in. But to combine the last two questions, I'm talking a little bit too much. Jalen, <laughs> I talked about Soldier Field reopening. I talked mm-hmm. about a 16-game season happening. Do you think a 16-game season will happen, and will it be at Soldier Field? Um... So hopefully, like I said, a lot of stuff is opening back up, you know, but viruses, you know, occur a lot when it's flu season, you know, it's, it's just starting to be, we're going into summer currently. So I, I could see us having a full 16 game season. Um, I, of course, I feel like teams are going to take the right precautions to make sure that they don't spread the virus to their players or to their staff and stuff like that. So if we, like I said, I doubt it's going to be full, full stadium, full pack stadiums this year. Um, if there are fans, like I said, it's probably going to be like 25% or around around something like that. So, so I'm going to say yes for both questions. I think that the season will happen at Soldier Field. And I think that eventually, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it gets, I, like, if it gets better, if there's no wave two, I feel like it could start with yeah. 25% capacity and that could eventually increase yeah. to 100%. I mean, obviously, yeah. I think the goal of this, when we when we break down this virus at the end of the day, it is not letting this thing slip past 2020. You know, in 2021, you know, we want to have March Madness. We want to be able to go to the Masters uh, at Augusta um, when golf season rolls around. We want to be able to go see MMA fights. We want to be able to go to MLB games. We want to be able to go see the Chicago Bulls play, and obviously we want to see our Bears play. So at the end of the day, you know, when it boils down to it, when I think about it, we don't want the virus to spread into the next year, and – when I look at it logically, you know, it's hard to break this down. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 20-year-old kid, but um, football with no fans is better than no football at all, regardless of location. Definitely. And football with some fans is better than football with no fans, which is better than no football. So the best that the NFL can do in regards to fans is, is going to be what we're going to have to take. 
and I think that it does happen at Soldier Field. You know, Jalen obviously talked about flu season a, a little bit, and we're not at all scientists, but we're hoping that things can get better this summer. We're hoping that the team will be able to get back into Soldier Field. That's the end goal by the end of the day, and if it's not going to be at Soldier Field, if it's going to be at an alternate location, well, I damn well mm-hmm. hope that the Bears can still perform well uh, out of suit, out of the ordinary, and uh, I hope we can see football at the end of the day. So that's going to pretty much do it for episode 42 of Uncut. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want more content from us, head over to BearDon.com. We're posting columns, articles, and blogs on there every day or every other day. We're really trying to pump out content for you guys this summer. The links to our social media fan pages are in the description, and you can also find the podcast on Instagram and Twitter, at BearDown. 2.53 in the morning. I'm about to take a nap, uh, a long nap, actually. I'm going to go to sleep uh, oh, no. here. Uh, um, yeah, it's it's a long night. Uh, brain isn't functioning uh, completely normally. But uh, good to be back on the grind. we got a big week coming up. Jalen McClinton, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, buddy. And obviously, you know, we're, we're optimists. We're hoping that the season can start on time. Uh, any last words? Uh, I would say stay safe during, you know, this pandemic. It's the world is not worrying about a pandemic right now. That's one of our least worries right now. Uh, so, you know, just stay safe during these crazy protests. It's, it's, it's crazy out here. Um, still stay, you know, still practice social distancing to a certain limitation. Um, and bear down. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't like to get political here, but just in general, in regards to these protests, I know a lot of the fans uh, that watch us are from Illinois and the Midwest in general. Uh, these protests are crazy, man, uh, and you just got to stay safe. Uh, I think more importantly, just continue to social distance as best as you can. Obviously, everything is starting to open up a bit. I finally got a freaking haircut, but um, <laughs> continue to social distance. Uh, stay safe at the end of the day. Saving lives is, is what we're about here, so continue to stay safe. Let's hope Soldier Field can open up. Um, at the end of the day, let's hope that there's football over anything. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bears fans, do us a favor, and as always, bear down. Once again, I am your host, Chris Malpe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.